Pat, why don't you tell us what you're experiencing? Tell us what the problem that you have is, okay. what you, where your pain is, what hurts, and kind of what options you've been you've been uh, had discussed with you so far. So, been a chronic issue seven years. Primary issue is I can feel it's kind of nerve pain, kind of emanating from my right around this area, kind of goes down my leg. Manageable, but it's very annoying. I still have strength, um, and the options I've gotten have been to do uh, a full laminectomy with a fusion um, by two other surgeons, and I'm here kind of exploring other options, other approaches. How bad is this? How much is it, does it affect your day? I can't golf, I can't run, I, it's difficult. It's annoying walking it, it, and you know, trying to get it fixed. So it's just a nuisance. It's something it's a nuisance. in your way. And yeah. you, you're, you're able to, to do your life, but you're not mm -hmm. able to enjoy your life. Correct. Correct. Okay. What you just described was, was really the difference between some of the newer techniques, or the newer technique than the older technique. And you described a laminectomy. Mm -hmm. And um, the difference between the newer ultrasonic techniques versus a standard laminectomy is really what allows us to do this operation differently. So if you look at his... MRI scan. I'm going to turn the lights out. I'm not sure how that's going to come out on the video. What you can see is the the bones separated by discs and the channel where the nerves travel through. And you get to this point, and there's an area where things really get tight, where you can see that the the nerves are getting pinched by stuff growing into the canal. And if you look at this in cross section, so if you take this from a side view. And now look at this on an end-on view. This is what the end-on view looks like. So normally what you should see is the spinal nerves, the channel where the nerves are. So looking on end, what we can see is the, the bone is here. The bone and the disc are here. The arch back here and the nerves that travel through the spine or here. And that's what it should look like. Now, arthritis is a process that, that essentially makes bones bigger. Because so as, as I was showing you before, that's an arthritic joint and that's a normal joint. You can see how one is much larger than the other. Well, adjacent to the spine, there are joints called facet joints. And these facet joints are here and they're right next to where the nerves come out. So if you look here at a normal area, you can see that the channels for the nerves are quite large. So essentially you've got a space mm -hmm. that is that and that, and the nerves live in this space. The cover of this is called a lamina. And we're going to go in a little bit more detail in a minute, showing how that affects and how the, how that's solved. So as you go down and look at this really big space, and you look at where your problem is, there's your problem. So instead of having plenty of room for the nerves, what's happened is your joints have grown bigger. And in the process of growing bigger, there's no room for the nerves anymore. And mm -hmm. that's why your legs hurt. That's cool. Excuse me, that's called stenosis. So, how do you fix it? Why is a laminectomy and why is a standard operation different than what we have uh, available newer techniques? Now, ultrasonics is what we, we use. It's, it's a process that allows us to work inside the bone versus removing bone. And this really is a description of how that, how that works differently. So, what this shows, is structurally looking at the spine you have bones stacked on top of each other that is what's called a compression collar the bones the body weight sits on those bones mm -hmm. they're very stable on compression but if you move them in rotation or tension they're not stable so there's a cable in the back of the spine and that cable when you bend forward the cable gets tight and what it does it prevents the spine from coming apart so if you take this and turn this over and look at it on end, what you can see is the process of arthritis 
makes the bones bigger and the process of arthritis makes the junk grow into where the nerves are. Mm -hmm. Now the cover here is called the lamin. The standard operation is called a laminectomy, mm -hmm. which means to remove the lamina. Now, it's a very effective way of getting the pressure off the nerves, but when you take the lamina off, you've essentially really altered the entire structure of the spine. The integrity of it. Even You've basically taken a compression column with a tension band, like a mm -hmm. crane, and you've right. cut the cable on the crane. Got it. So what you've done is essentially there's supposed to be bones here attached to cables, and this is cut. So now this joint is no longer protected. So in your situation, the process of doing the laminectomy, which is what this is, yeah, require, alters the structure. Yeah. It alters the normal way the spine functions. Mm -hmm. So what that does is it creates what's called a stress riser. It creates a situation where this joint is going to become unstable and it slips. So therefore you need to have that fused. Yeah. And you're not fusing it because it was bad. You're fusing it because we surgically created a problem for you. That was the logic I was left with. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So what happens then? So now we start the process of doing fusions. And by the way, I'm not knocking fusions because mm -hmm. in certain situations they're necessary. But don't create a situation where you do it because you created a surgically generated problem versus a problem that was there before. So now what happens when you fuse these joints, these cables are still gone, and now you transfer the problem above and below. So now you have three problems. Uh -huh. By doing a laminectomy and a fusion, now you start the snowball effect. And that snowball effect really is preventable with the newer techniques. Now what ultrasonics allows us to do is to do a process where we don't have to remove that structure anymore. So using these new tools, instead of removing the lamina, and doing a full laminectomy, we can work inside the spine. We can go under the normal cables and essentially just clean out the junk and leave everything that's supposed to be there. So structurally, when we're done, all the things that hold you together are still there. The cover is still there. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is essentially just cleaning out all this junk and leaving what holds on to the normal ligaments. When we're done, we have a resurfacing of the inside of the spine, mm -hmm. but we've left everything that's supposed to be there. So this is the newer technique where the cables are still intact, and this is the older technique where the cables are all gone. So once again, you have a situation where the bones are still there, mm -hmm. the cables are still there, yep. and the normal integrity of the front of the spine is not altered as opposed to all this stuff is gone, and what holds the spine together isn't there anymore. So this is how we can do a procedure and avoid a fusion. Makes total sense. So uh, that's the process. Using, using new tools, we can create a process that really alters the, the normal way of doing things.